How's it going, people? I'm doing fine. Uh, last week was a little rough, but I'm all right now. This is my story uh, time hat. I decided I didn't need a hat for um, reading stories. Um, somebody, and I forgot who it was, but I think it was a lady, uh, told me that she liked my voice and I should read a bedtime story. And I found uh, a couple of books that are uh, belong to my grandparents. My grandfather uh, said that when he first picked it up, it scared him into religion and he became a minister. Um, written in 1918, it is the Left Behind series <laughs> for my grandparents' generation. You know, it was the exorcist of its time. You know, So, I'm... Um, First one is In the Twinkling of an Eye, and they've had this copy since 1950. It's inscribed by my grandfather. And it's in pretty bad shape. But uh, uh, the, the sequel, which I might get around to, is Mark of the Beast by uh, Sidney Watson, who also wrote... Uh, yeah, this is from 1955. My grandfather has uh, Scarlet and Purple, which i never seen a copy of that. But anyway, that's the Mark of the Beast about the Antichrist, Brother Bartholomew, if I remember right. Read these when I was a kid. Um, they spooked me out back when I was a believer. So, one bedtime story coming up. But first, I need a beverage. It's my little uh, Contiki um, Easter Island kind of looking cup. And a little bit of ice. And a little bit of the Green Fairy. A little absinthe. Because we are going into realms of fantasy here, aren't we? Uh, and let's see, that's probably good enough, I think. And I stumbled across the, um, a concoction, and I have to try it out again because I think it worked. Uh, I think it was in, anyhow, um, aloe vera juice with pulp and cane sugar. I bought a bunch of these uh, cheap, and it occurred to me to try to mix these together, and uh, I think I liked it. Like I said, this is my second time trying this, and I was drunk last time, so, <clears throat> so you know, maybe it's not as good as I remember. Maybe it's actually bad. Let's find out. Anyhow, Mr. Easter Island uh, glass. Yeah, it still holds up. This is interesting. It kind of works. Maybe I invented a new drink. Uh, absinthe, ice, and aloe vera. Juice with pulp and cane sugar. The Z Green Fairy. Mm, and you can chew parts of it because it's got pulp in it. Ah. In the twinkling of an eye, this is about the Corrapture. Um, it's the left behind Kurt Cameron, um, Nicolas Cage. Um, anyway. anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it's a monogram by my grandfather, Royce. S. Toll, S being for Sumner, January 7th, 1950, Sacramento, California. In the Twinkling of an Eye by Sidney Watson, author of The Mark of the Beast, Scarlet and Purple. I haven't heard about that other book, just, just a name. Maybe I'll find it someday, but this, you know, probably in the public domain by now. Anyway, uh, New York, Fleming H. Ravel Company, London, 
and Edinburgh. Ah. Copyright 1918 by Bible Institute of Los Angeles. Copyright 1933 by Fleming H. Revell Company. Uh, anyway, they, and they got this copy uh, monogrammed on 1950. Yeah, early. <laughs> anyway, this only goes to show you that it's going to happen like a thief in a knife night in the twinkling of an eye. And you won't be ready. And could have happened in 1918, yeah. but um, more than a century has gone by. So, so let's let's learn a lesson from our forefathers. Publisher's note: Multitudes in all parts of the world have expressed their approval of this imaginative, yet true to scripture account of what will transpire on this earth. Yeah, not, you know, Kolob or, uh, yeah. uh, at the coming of the Lord. It is written in a style so fascinating that young and old will read it with almost breathless interest from start to finish. See, nothing but the best for, for my peeps. All right. Damn, this is good. How about that? Already, many thousands who would never have studied their Bibles or looked at an ordinary book or pamphlet to learn the precious truth of the second coming of the Lord to be announced. <laughs> Still waiting. Uh, have been awakened, quickened, and even converted by reading in the twinkling of an eye. So hold on to your seats, people. This is some heavy shit. All right. Uh, convincingly true. Okay. Terrible and beautiful in turn. Can't wait. This book is one of the most startling in the annals of Christian literature. Just the book to solemnize, wait, just the book to solemnize and awaken careless, ill taught, professing Christians. Those counterfeit Christians, you know? They don't know who they are. Uh, Christians to a complete realization um, of the fact that the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. That's the publisher's note. I don't know how much I'll get to. Oh, authors forward. Let's, we should do that. Some years ago, I received from an important southern town, but he's going to leave their name out uh, for legal reasons, discretionary. Uh, a letter from a ladies' temperance committee. You tell. To this effect, Sir, we, the undersigned, sounds like a Book of Mormon uh, forward, you know, and testimonial. Uh, sorry. Uh, we, the undersigned, are a committee of ladies who, for many years, have purchased your stories for the people. In very large numbers. <laughs> For free distribution and loan. No wonder. 
always assuming that you were to be thoroughly relied upon as an upholder of strict, total abstinence principles. Oops. <laughs> um, but your latest story has sadly undeceived us. Really? <laughs> 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 I just kicked my eyes over. Oh, sorry. I needed that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so deceived us. I'm <laughs> 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 sorry. <laughs> oh. 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 God, where was I? Oh, yeah. All right. Undeceived us. As regards, <laughs> I almost made it past. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blame it on the absent. <sighs> Maybe it was that fucking aloe. It's probably healing something right now. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can I get past this? Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> this is fascinating shit. All right. Um, <laughs> regarding, uh, as regards your usefulness as a worker in the great cause we are pledged to uphold, uh, and further on page, there's a, like a redaction, um, uh, long line, nothing there, uh, of your last story, you make your hero return from a day's run with the hounds come upon a woman lying in a lonely place. Just say it. Um. Who has been injured in a trap accident? It's foreboding of pages to come. Oh, I'm going to do this. All right. You say, speaking of your hero's prompt, they're quoting a fan letter from a temperance committee. I guess that makes sense. I guess. You know, reviews are hard to come by in this section of the bookstore. All right. A trap accident. You say, speaking of your hero's prompt help to the woman that, and now he's quoting from the text, taking his hunting flask from his pocket, he forced a few drops of the brandy between the woman's lips, etc. 
The sailor said, Brandy, you're a fucking fine girl. What a good wife you'd make. But I'm a deadbeat and I'm moving on. <laughs> Just quoting the literature. All right. Um, that, taking his hunting flask from his pocket, he forced a few drops of brandy between the woman's lips, etc. Now, sir. Oh, shit, he fucked up. I just caught that. All right. Ooh, big faux pas. Now, sir. <laughs> Sorry. I'm totally fucking this video up. It's the hat, isn't it? Kind of big jump. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> now, sir, we counted that had you had the cause of total abstinence fully at heart. you would have made the huntsman flask to have contained water. That's all she needed. Maybe some Gatorade or Powerade or Jonestown Kool-Aid. I don't know. All right. I'll get through this. This section. So much for the letter. Really, more than enough. This fucking works, man. New drink. I invented it, motherfuckers. It's documented by this video. Not that I'm claiming any ownership. I'm saying I'm the first one. Just that I know. Anyway. Absinthe and aloe. It's like almost healthy. In an esoteric... Uh, um, homogenistic, um, homeopathic kind of way. All right. Sorry. Lost my... I'm totally in the weeds. Uh, lost my track. Lost my train of thought. So much for the letter. Totally fucked me up. Uh, the moral of it lies on the surface. Uh must have missed some. There are some persons who seem unable to see anything from the side of real, actual life. That ladies committee could not uh, whose they're cutting off here uh, whose vision is narrowed down to the tiny slit of their own cramped cabin life and thought that have no true outlook upon life as a whole. It's a quality fucking wordsmithing. I prefer the forward with the above incident. I preface, sorry, I preface the forward with the above incident. That one above apparently, already mentioned. We're moving on. But he thought he would just do a little Lot's wife look back. Yeah. Uncle Salty. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking goddamn aloe. That's what's fucking me up. These 
goddamn aloe vera. Probably the ice, too. Ooh, that's nice. I prefaced the foreword with the above incident because I am perfectly certain that the standpoint from which I have written this book sounded like Joey Jr. all of a sudden will be utterly absolutely misunderstood by many earnest love-hearted <laughs> love-hearted people whose eyes with my with my own have got <laughs> sorry this is too fucking heavy have caught the upward gaze from whence it's a quotation all of a sudden so they're quoting something from whence we look from the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I added that in, but it seemed appropriate. Mighty delightful. Aloe and absinthe fucking works. And this is pretty cool, all of a sudden. All right. <laughs> I would at once acknowledge that the inceptive idea of write writing... Sorry. It's just me. I know it is. I know it is. It's cool. Really old book. Uh, such a book as this was born within me from reading the long odds. That's a literary masterpiece that probably has been lost. I don't know. Check LibriVox. It might be there. LibriVox. Marvelous free website. Everyone should know about it. And why don't you? I guess you do now. All right. Um, that wondrous little half penny booklet written by the late General Robertson, I believe. He didn't bother to check. But, you know. If we could trust his recollection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A booklet <laughs> that has been so marvelously into a quote owned the blessed. End quote. Wow. This is actually pretty fucking good. Aloe, absinthe, try it. And you're in advance, you're welcome. All right. Um, for five or six years, the idea for this present volume has been simmering and seething in my mind. But I'm all right. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't so. Unless I'm totally delusional. All right. Fucking aloe vera, goddammit. 
I need some more of this. Let's see. I, I guess I better have some of this first. It's fucking fascinating. I think I have some aloe left. <sighs> oh, yeah. Cheap ass aloe vera. <laughs> Get it to the fucking Dollar Tree. It's got cane sugar, aloe vera, and pulp. And it's got antioxidants, magical uh, stuff. Have a good old time. All right. Oh, I shouldn't be leaving a book on that one. Sorry. I know better than that. It's that fucking aloe vera. Damn, that's good. I fucking found the new drink. All right. But back to this important and timely document. I mean, they were warning us back in 1918 that this could happen any fucking moment. And still can't be happening any moment. And will continue to be happening at any moment. Just trying to help. The first and only real problem I had to face in the matter was that of the principal bracket for, to me, the near return of our Lord, continuing to the present and foreseeable future. Although some people are working on it. They'll make it happen. <sighs> Is the most sacred of all subjects in bracket. I'm trying to be literal here. I'm kind of a fundamentalist about this. It's the hat. All right. Lost my place. Um, <laughs> but the problem of the principle was speedily settled. As I remembered how wonderfully God had owned the blessed long odds in which the fictional is the vehicle of the teaching, otherwise known as uh, what propaganda, Rick. Bullshit. But not this, but some things. Maybe this too. We gotta get through the whole thing. And I haven't even finished the fucking DNC. God damn it. But I will. All right, anyway, back to this. Uh, said fucking aloe vera. Oh, all right. <laughs> then too, there are, I know, myriads of myriads of people into whose hands long odds could never by any chance any chance fall unless you're that lucky thrift store creeping kind of person trolling the thrift stores you might get lucky I do it where do you think I got the hat all right I guess I should have washed it first. All right, anyway. Fucking hell up here. <laughs> uh. 
For there are multitudes who will not so much as glance at or touch a tract. I'll do it. I'll do it on video even. I've done it and I'll continue to. As long as people keep giving me religious hearted bullshit. I'll share it with the masses and maybe convert. Maybe I'll be making new Christians, Scientologists, Mormons, Muslims. I'm totally willing to do that. You can go there. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Anyway, that's a side note there. I'm in the weeds again, I know. While they won't touch a tract, while a volume will easily win its way among all classes. There is an enormous percentage of attendance at our churches and chapels, and many Otherwise, very earnest Christians, not those fake-ass counterfeit ones, uh, I suppose, um, earnest Christian workers to whom the whole subject of the Lord's second coming is an absolutely unknown realm of truth. And these I would Fain, reach and arouse with a message of this book. Sorry, it's an antique. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> but I do own it. I got it from my grandparents <sighs> after they passed. It's all about all I got. I'll make videos out of it. I knew I would. Good times. You'll appreciate them after this. All right. Uh, to those Christians, and some of you fucking heathens, pay attention. Some heavy shit. And, you know, they got to keep writing new contemporary versions of this. But this is 1918, so let's go with that. This is their version of War of the Worlds with, you know, Christian mythology added in. Mm. Very nice. All right. To all those Christians who are looking for the return of the Lord, still, all these years later, and in the foreseeable future, to whom the subject is the most tenderly sacred of all subjects. Yeah. Yeah, we know. takes precedence over reality, even. All right. Uh, who will at first sight condemn the use of the fictional element? Which part? Because it's all fictional to me. The dramatic color. Oh, with a U in it, so... We're getting European -y. color. Uh, <laughs> totally fucked myself up. All right, hang on. C 
color in this book, and many good people will, I am assured, I would say that our Lord himself, sorry, i got to brace myself. I have not read ahead. Uh, speaking of his own return, used two very remarkable illustrations from life's strangest dramas. First, and we go into quotations, <coughs> pardon me, as it was in the days of Noah, a real historical guy, that shit happened. We're suspending disbelief for the sake of fiction. Sorry. I do that a lot. And I go back to being objective again. All right. Uh, uh, sorry, this is just so fucking awesome. Um... <laughs> oh, sorry, Noah. <laughs> sorry, Russell Crowe. I'm all right now. <laughs> I guess not. Maybe this will help. Uh. Nice bedtime story we got going on here. Only uh, oh, almost 300 pages to go. No big deal. All right, let's do it. I'm sorry I can't tuck you in, but I'll read you a bedtime story after all this shit. I promise. All right, uh, Noah. Keep getting tripped up there. All right. Uh, even so, shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man? They ate, they drank, they married, they were given in marriage until. Now they capitalize the day, uncapitalized, etc. End quote. Just trying to make it real here. I'll get better as we go. Just starting off. I mean, I'm getting used to the hat. So I says, fucking aloe vera is deadly. Watch out for that aloe vera. Wow. I wish I'd have known. <sighs> Etc. Now, think what a married dramas were being enacted when the flood came. Some fucking salacious shit. really bad or good depending on your perspective I'm in the middle honestly all right <laughs> when the flood came you know that global flood everything Covered with water, even mounted at first. It is a bedtime story. 
Uh, and had the disciples asked their Lord privately, off the record, I guess, after his utterances to explain more sorry, it's an old book, uh, fully, I think, uh, what he meant, yeah, what thrilling stories he could, his disciples would have uh, stitched. I think I need to have, take another go at that one. Uh, I'm just not up to this fucking level of literary excellence. And that fucking aloe vera. It's fucking healthy. I feel better already. Okay. Uh, now think of what a Married, we're going over this again. Uh, married dramas were being enacted when the flood came, and had the disciples asked their Lord privately, after his utterance, to explain more fully what he meant, what thrilling stories he could, he doubtless would have stitched. This is illuminating. Or something is. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. All right. So, we're talking about a crazy quilt here that he had to stitch. Oh, that's damn nice. What a fucking awesome drink, and something really needs to work with absinthe. Because I'm not into it all. Absinthe is a little overwhelming to taste. Fucking. How about that? How about that? <sighs> this shit is deadly but healthy. All right. Getting through this, I promise. If any Christian uh, cavils at the dramatic in this book, I would refer him or her to Christ's own pointing in the picture of Noah's time. Checkmate. Biatch. Then bid them fill out by help of the feeblest, simplest imagination the picture of the myriad dramas that were being enacted when the flood came. Of old times. <laughs> this is good, man. Hello and absent. All right. Then, if the objector is honest, it is capable of the least imagination, he would say, I see. And how that I, w I see this fact, my wonder is, not that there is a certain dramatic freedom in this book. Good. 
but that the writer has kept so powerful a restraint upon his pen. Well, he's into abstinence and all, and temperance. You don't want to, you know, go too fast or take any chances. Think about it, man. All right. Again, Christ said, quotations, as it was in the days of lore, etc., end quote. Yeah. Now, think over this saying of our Lord's. This is a novel, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> 1918. And remembering what is... And how, alas, even when saved from the doomed city, Lot and his daughters brought away much of the vicious criminal essence of the place with them. <laughs> that explains it. Thank you. Family values. All right. Anyway, in bracket. Think how the return of our Lord, and a capitalized return and Lord, presently, yeah, return, and not a reference to J.R.R. Tolkien anywhere. Uh, Presently, 1918, will mean the snatching away of many of his own out of scenes infinitely, infinitely more awful than anything I have herein, have used herein, or Hinted at. Total restraint. This guy is freaking awesome. Sidney Watson. You're the man. I'm going to spend some time with Sidney. All right. Um, um, a book written on the subject here chosen and written in the vein our Lord himself suggests. In the two passages referred to above, I hope you're paying attention, I totally missed it. Remind me, please. It was something bible -y, no doubt. All right. Uh, could not have been written from any other way to be true to life and to be the subject. Should any reader object to the expository uh, lectures of Major H. Redacted? <coughs> Whoever the fuck he was, they're spreading the word that Mr. H is uh, redacted is frickin' famous. Thank you, Sidney Watson. Mm, aloe vera. All right.
A book written on the subject here chosen and written in the vein our Lord himself suggests in the two passages referred to above could not could not have been written in any other way to be true to life. It's true as anything else, you know, including like urban legends, wives' tales, and factual fictional accounts, like the Left Behind series. And it's granddaddy predecessor. Uh. Uh. Should uh, H redacted as the chief vehicle for doctrinal teaching and entertainment, I promise, I would say that personal experience has proved the style to be infinitely more acceptable to readers than that of the dialogue mode. We're just going to have to find out together. <sighs> I have purposely placed special emphasis on the Jewish side, big of you, of the subject, since the Jewish question, maybe they'll tell us what that was later, huh? is infinitely more closely enwrapped with the fact of our Lord's near return than many speakers and writers give prominence to. Sidney Watson, blowing his own trumpet there, uh, the fine... Vernon Dean Hungerford Burks. I don't know what that means, but that's a direct quote. Contents. Let's do that real quick. Just to be thorough. By the way, I can't even feel my lips anymore. Uh, chapter 1, Taken at the Flood. 2, The Courier. 3, Flotsam. 4, I Only Reaped What I Sowed. 5, uh, Lily work. <coughs> I don't know what that meant. Mm. Oh, wow, that's nice. Um, six. An interesting talk. Looking forward to that. Seven. Coming. I always look forward to that. Um, uh, eight, reverie, yeah, often. Afterwards, before I lose consciousness into bliss. Sorry. Um, irreverent, reverie. Uh, uh, 
Nine, a threat. Had to, do, had to go there, huh? Anyway, that's what you can expect in the pages ahead. Ten, in the nick of time. Eleven, long odds. In quotations, maybe they're quoting that earlier publication. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, Twelve, the center of the earth. Well, that's a, every religious art is the at the center of the earth. They're at the center of the fucking everything. Everything revolving around them. Uh, Thirteen. A demon. Well-timed. Fourteen. Major H. Redacted. On the coming. <laughs> Fifteen. The address Damn, that's nice. Uh, Sixteen The Cabin Companion. Let's just stay there. I like it there. That and at the, the coming. Just saying. Um, this is all Roman numerals, and I just lost my translation thread. Um, uh, Seventeen, that's what it is. Uh, told in a cab, taxi cab, in fact, uh, confessions, yeah. <laughs> and infections. I'm sure. You have to forgive me. It's a fucking watch out for this shit. They should make that illegal. It's just too much fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking Roman numerals, god damn it. My classical training is failing me. Since I wasn't there for most of it. Uh, Nineteen, I believe. Wait. Eighteen, nineteen. Tom Hammond reviewing. Would he possibly be Mr. Redacted? Probably not. Uh, Twenty. Or X I X. A little teeny capitalized A. Dash. Um, my mentor. The creepy dude on the block. <laughs> Taught me some shit. I'm down to the pulp. Very nice. Uh, 20. The placard. 21. He, well, was he mad? Without a question mark. Somehow that's not a question. Uh, 
21 was, was he mad? Uh, 22, from the prophet's chamber. Uh, 23, Passover's exclamation point. So, probably a lot of action in that chapter. Can't wait. Uh, totally losing this. All right. Fucking Roman numerals. I have to think too hard to figure them out. But it goes up to 30. Anyway. Uh, the placard. Was he mad? From the prophet's chamber. Passovers. Uh, this saying shall come to pass. <sighs> Foiled! Exclamation point. A castaway, a stricken city, Hallelujah, lass. Yeah, that's a chapter. In St. Paul's conclusion. Anyway, that's what you have to look forward to. And I gave up on the fucking Roman numerals. Anyway, the book starts after that. So, maybe tomorrow. No. Maybe next, I'm not sure. In the Twinkling of an Eye by Cindy Watson, the first left behind author since St. John the Divine. As far as I know. Anyway, I should have watched out for this. It's probably good for you, so. More to come. And I hope this will help you sleep. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Watch out for that fucking aloe. Bye.